Good morning, class. This is Multilingualism 120. I'm the graduate student who was forced to teach this class online against my will. Um, I actually hate all of you all, but um, if you want to graduate, like I wish I did last year, then um, stay tuned. Open your books. Hey guys, it's Olivia Blackman Bay Olio, and today. I mean, I see online, everybody is posting a video about what they're doing, COVID-19, to, you know, level up in whatever it is, hair, music, languages, like anything. And so I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? So today, that's what we're doing. I'm going to keep this short and simple and to the point. This is really like a little Zoom class? Oh, this is cute. Anyways, okay, let's get into it. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Of course, you do you. But you know, let's not be dying of boredom out here, okay? Let's level up. Let's level up and come back a new person, okay? So first of all, I'll show you what I'm doing. Books, that's when I'm starting my base level. So I have my classes, but then I also have my books. I'm not being super strict with it, but I do hope to get at least one or two lessons out of my books any given day, out of whatever one I feel like that day. Let me show you my books. So as you all know, and probably, if you know anything about me, I am a college student majoring in Chinese and international affairs. So yes, I have Chinese every single day and tutoring every day. So here are my books for that. Connections 2 and um, comes with a workbook and um, the text and also my notebook for that. So basically in here, outline and write my own sentences and things like that. So it's like, and if in other places, I'll write a word map. So this is this. Well, I'm sure that means nothing to you, but um, just an example of what my notes look like. Next, we have Spanish. So Spanish, I'm taking on by myself. And I also have a class Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 8. But I started by myself, and I bought these books before that. So easy Spanish step by step. I love this. I love this. From the beginning to end. It really builds on itself, and it's helped me a lot to prepare for my class that I took. I'm in Spanish 102, and also have other books, and also an online textbook for that class. Here's my notebook for that. This might look kind of crazy. My handwriting is crazy, but I'll be writing rapid fire. Okay, are you going to focus? Okay, so I do write in all Spanish in these journals. I'll be honest, in Chinese, I do I do the same thing, but sometimes I get a little lazy. So here I write everything that I can write in Spanish in Spanish. And so far, I've only been doing this for my freshman year, and I feel like I made a lot of progress. So, hey, okay, quick flex. Next, I have my Japanese book, but if you know, I'm learning Japanese in Korean because I feel like it's closer and it's a lot easier. There's more connections. And so I got this from Song Won, the same person I got my first Korean book in English from and it's similarly formatted it has one lesson and um, one set of workbook pages for each so easy to work through but I need to put more work in that I might also get a tutor for Japanese while the season is still going I'm gonna be real for some reason I don't know where my Japanese um, notebook is at but I'll show you some of my like drill writing paper so just an example and also for um korean i have this self-made hangugo drills book so like i created um exercises for myself from the lessons i taught to me in korean and then i'll just fill those out when i go back on it to practice and keep that fresh and now for the languages i'm really like messing around in right now like it is not nothing one i got this francais Bro, my français pronunciation is funny. Français. So I really just started off. I really just started off. And it's just like um, keeping track of any videos that I watch so I can keep that knowledge and not have to watch it over again. And recently, I started Italian. So like I found a series online of about 70 videos. And I also had this book on hand, Workouts in Italian. So I'll work through this when I'm ready. But really, I want to get Spanish solid and then I'll go back to that. Now, okay, next thing, flashcards. Flashcards are my baby, look at this. Look at this, beautiful. It looks a mess on It's full, there's gotta be at least 100 sets in here. 
and I can show you one. Recently, one of my most recent ones, I was trying to do um, all the countries in Spanish, and so the countries and also what you call that, like English, England, America, American, that kind of thing. So I made, you see how she's thick, okay, she's thick. So like on one side, I got like Puerto Rican, and on the other side, you cannot see it at all. I got Puerto Rico, and so you can see that for all of these. And I do that and review those in the car or when I'm not doing anything. Now into some of the more fun stuff that keeps me sane over this time. So, number one, shows, shows, which shows, okay? So the shows that I'm watching right now, disclaimer. Right now, most of my immersion is in Spanish, and it's not that I don't want to mix, but I'm just focusing on that right now. So, most of my shows are Spanish right now. My two favorites that I'm watching right now on Netflix are Grand Hotel and La Casa de Papel, or Grand Hotel and the House of Paper. No, they don't call it that. They call it Money Heist. Yes. A1. And really, the more that I kept watching them, this is what I do. Grand Hotel, I watched basically the whole thing with English subtitles. It was not no thing. I wanted to, and so I did. La Casa de Papel, arguably harder, but I did that with Spanish subtitles only. Worst case, if I feel like I need it for the plot, then I go run that back and then watch it in English subtitles and then run it back in Spanish to try and get more out of that. We'll probably make another video on that. Other fun things that just kind of push me in a real subtle way, you know, we got my computer. Now look, some of y'all are going to be like, Olivia, you crazy? Sis, I know. I know. Bro, I know. Whoever you are, I'm sorry. Let me, let me not assume your gender, okay? But yes, my computer is in Spanish. Everything is in Spanish. My Gmail account is in Spanish. My YouTube account is in Spanish. Um, my calendar is in Spanish. Any, any event that I put in there, I put it in Spanish. It just really helps me to look at it. If I see Descargas, I know that that's downloads. I didn't know that two weeks ago, but now I do. When I tell you, when I was trying to use Word, Microsoft Word, I was trying to use my little shortcuts, Control B, Control C. I was like, why is it not bolding? Why is it not underlining what I want? And I was like, so I had to look, I had to super sleuth. I had to figure out that bold is negrita. So now I got to do control N. It's like my whole life has shifted, but it's really been so beneficial. Like I'm not playing. Like for the first few days, you'd be like, why did I do this? Turn it back. But eventually it's like, you just, you just find out. Yes. My computer is in it and occasionally my phone is in it. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. Other fun things, cooking tutorials. I would watch a cooking tutorial in Spanish, but you know, now that I'm keto, I can't be messing with them rice and beans, you know, but I will watch occasional cooking tutorials. And of course, those online friends. Look, if you don't have online friends, what are you doing? I have a blog post on that on my blog, um, the best websites and apps for that. You need somebody to be talking to, a native preferably, so that you can really survive in this language. And it will be a little struggle at the beginning, but it'll be so much fun. It'll be so much fun. I promise you. You'll be like, Olivia, why didn't you tell me earlier? But I did, so go. Trust me, trust me. Okay, that's it for today. Keep thriving, keep living your best life, even under these circumstances. This life and this season is what you make it and how you come out is determined by the systems you're putting in place right now so get you a book get you a show get you a get you a language journal get you whatever you need so that you can come out more fluent than you were when they took you out of school okay okay okay